Welcome back to the Focus New Website Setup Guide. The next step we're going to take is to set up our navigation menu. So when you, you know, if you just have a fresh installation of Focus uh, and you look at your site, you may see a navigation menu if you've already defined one within WordPress. But if you haven't, you won't even see a navigation menu. You'll just see a line here across the screen. Uh, and that when you have a navigation menu, it will fill up uh, that space and, and your menu will appear here. Uh, so I want to show you how to set that up. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pop over to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to go to the content and display page. Okay, and we're going to visit the bottom set of links down here for the editable content within Focus and the first one you'll see is Nav Menu Focus. This is your primary navigation menu, so you're going to click on that and then you can choose a menu that you have defined in your WordPress website to display in this location. In this case, I'm using the focus menu, so I'll save it and just confirm here. This is the one that, that appears here. But let's say you, if you've not defined a WordPress navigation menu, you won't have any options here. You'll just have this first one that says select a WP menu. Now, to get items to display there, you actually want to head over here to the Appearance tab in your WordPress dashboard and then go to Menus. And then you will create a new menu if you don't already have one or a different menu if you want to use a different one. Uh, you create your menu, you'll save your menu, and then you'll revisit the, con the Focus Content and Display page. Click on Nav Menu Focus. And when you revisit this page, you'll, you'll then have whatever options, uh, you know, the options you have here will reflect whatever menus you've set up in WordPress. Okay, so that's how, um, you know, you can get exactly the menu you want to display in this location. Now, a few notes, a few usage notes here. Number one, although the WordPress menu editor allows you to define nested hierarchies, things like that, like drop-down menus, for example. Focus does not do drop-down menu display. I've got, I've spoken about this at length in other videos and written about this as well. I will drop a link to the Focus uh, forum documentation in, in, the, in the description of the video, and you can go over and check that out. I have a huge explanation for why Focus stuff works the way it does. I cover this in there, and uh, you might learn something as well, so I recommend you check that out. But um, back to back to the discussion of the menu here. So you, this is how Focus, the, the way the nav menu displays by default. You can get rid of this, and I'll show you how to do that. If you don't like the menu, don't want to use a menu, uh, so on the content and display page, we are going to visit this time uh, the top part. Okay, so the top section of this page is known as the display options. This is how you uh, can turn certain elements on or off. So you can turn off the nav menu. And so if you were to turn off the nav menu, which you can do under global layout elements, and we go down to nav menus, and here's the focus nav menu, and we'll see a secondary nav menu, which I'll talk about in a second. But if you were to turn this off and hit save, which we will do, you will notice that the navigation menu link is no longer here in the bottom. It's been removed because that item is not currently appearing in your in your templates and therefore it does not need to be edited uh, down here below but if you enable that item you will see that that option does exist okay so the same thing applies if you want to use a secondary navigation menu so I'll, I'll enable the secondary menu uh, there's another option here which we'll do in just a second but so I've enabled my secondary navigation menu and my primary so here's my secondary so I can go down here to the focus secondary, select a different menu to deploy in that spot. And there it is. Now I've got a different uh, m you know, secondary navigation menu. So when I added this feature to focus, the secondary navigation menu, I was really doing it primarily so that membership websites could serve a different menu to logged in users. But for flexibility's sake, I give you the option to display a secondary nav menu to everyone, or you can just display the secondary nav menu to logged in users. This makes the feature more flexible, so you can mix and match it, use it however you want, but um, it gives you some options, the bottom line there. So with, with, uh, with this option, 
to only display the logged in user selected. Obviously, uh, who you know that menu is not going to appear to anyone unless they are logged into uh, the WordPress admin on on this particular website. Um, membership plugins, like I said, I alluded to this a second ago, but membership plugins will do this. So they give uh, randoms, you know, customers, whomever, the ability to log into your WordPress website without being an administrator, not being able to edit posts, that sort of thing. It's just sort of a way to get people to, to log into your website and run uh, businessy stuff that way. So this secondary nav menu may be helpful, helpful for you if that's the type of site you are running. All right, so that, that covers... Uh, the focus navigation menu setup. So once you get this, uh, your, your nav menu displaying, um, you'll be ready to proceed with the next steps in the focus new website setup guide. And I encourage you to check out the next video in the series now.